Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you all how to make these really cute bows. They're very easy to make and you don't even need a sewing machine to make them. They can be used for cosplay purposes or just for everyday wear and they can be made as large as you like or as little as you like. Um, you can stitch them onto the costume directly or you can do what I've done here and attach a clip onto it, like so. So you can attach them onto wigs or onto your actual hair. So let's begin making them. Step one. The first step is to cut out a rectangle shape out of the material that you're going to be using. I'm going to be making a bow that's about this size and if you want to make one smaller you can make the rectangle smaller and if you want to make one bigger you can make the rectangle bigger. And the measurements for this piece that I'm using are about 50 centimetres by 30 centimetres. Step two. You take your rectangular piece and fold it in half, then you sew along that side there. So I've just sewn along here as you can see. I've used black thread because it doesn't matter what thread you use, it's not going to be seen at the end and it makes it easier for you guys to see where I'm sewing. And you can do hand sew this but it will take a lot longer than if you use a machine which is what I've done here. After you've done that you should have a tube formed. So we now need to turn this inside out. Step 3. Once we've got our tube we make sure that the seam goes down the centre of it and this gets covered up in a second because what we do is we fold the sides inwards. That's one side folded inwards and then the other side as well folded inwards towards the centre and then we pin it down the centre. So I've pinned it down the centre here as you can see and right now what you should have is a rectangular piece which is smaller than the original and two tubes that are next to each other like so. What you do now is where you've pinned along this line you use big hand stitches to stitch in and out across this line. So I've used big stitches to sew along the centre line here and before you tie off the thread what you have to do is you have to pull it to gather the material like so so you get your bow shape forming then you tie off the thread and we move on to the next step step four now we've got the main shape of the bow we want to make the part that goes over the center line to neaten it up and make it look more bow like to do this you cut out another smaller rectangle shape you fold it in half again and then sew again across this side to make another tube. So I've sewn along here and now what we really need to do like before is turn this inside out as well. Once you've turned it inside out you should have a tube like so and what you do with this tube with the seam facing inwards towards the bow you wrap it round the bow like so and stitch it at the back there. Once you've stitched it at the back like so you get a bow shape and now all that's left to do is to make the little dangly bits that come off of it. Step 5. To make the dangly bits again you cut out another rectangle shape like this but make sure it's longer than the ones that you used before. You fold this rectangle in half again and now instead of stitching along one side you stitch along the smaller side here, the smaller side here and then all along this side except what you do now is you make sure you leave a gap in the middle there so you stitch along there, stop there, leave a gap, stitch along there to leave a hole in the middle. So I've just sewn the material all the way around the edges like so, leave a gap in the middle then around the edges again. Now you turn this inside out by using the gap you left in the stitching earlier. Once you've turned it inside out you should get something like this where the ends are closed and you've got a hole in the middle. The hole in the middle doesn't matter because it gets covered up in a second. And what you do with this is you take your bow, you feed it in from the back into the little loop you made earlier. And then pull it down to the bottom. Turn it around and your bow is complete. So here we are, our finished bow. If you want to attach a clip to it, you can at the back here, and then you can um, clip it onto your hair or onto your wig. Or if you want to sew it directly onto the cosplay or costume, you can do it like that. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I'll be making more cosplay tutorials and things in the future, so please subscribe. It will make me very, very happy. 
and good luck with making bows and cosplay stuff in general. Goodbye!